Welcome back to Unite Coaching. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the process of estimating the quantity of cement, sand and bricks for the brick masonry in Microsoft Excel. As you can see here, I have already made the steps in Excel and I have calculated the quantity of material. I will explain you it in detail. Let us consider the proportion of mortar as 1 is to 6, where 1 is cement and 6 is sand. I have considered the volume of brick masonry as 10 cubic meters. You can calculate the volume of brick masonry by using formula, length, into height of wall, into thickness of wall. The dry volume of mortar with frog filling, wastage, etc. is considered as 20% to 35% of volume of masonry work. I am taking it as 35%. Therefore, formula in Excel will be is equals to volume of brick masonry, which is the cell C4 into 0.35. This 0.35 is taken because dry volume of mortar for brick masonry is taken as 35%. Dry volume of mortar comes to be 3.5 cubic meters. The next step is to calculate the quantity of cement required. The formula is dry volume divided by the sum of proportion into proportion of cement that is this 3.5 divided by 1 plus 6 into 1 to calculate it in excel put excel formula as is equal to bracket cell c5 divided by bracket start cell c3 plus d3 bracket close into cell c3 and at last again bracket close which comes to be 0.50 cubic meter. Now, calculate number of bags of cement required. We know that the volume of one bag of 50 kilogram cement bag is 0.035 cubic meter. Therefore, use formula as is equal to round up double bracket cell C6 divided by 0.035 bracket close comma 0 bracket close. As I have said in my previous video of concrete quantity, the roundup formula is because the cement bags cannot be taken into points. Therefore, to round up that value to next round figure, we use this roundup formula. Now, to calculate the quantity of sand required, the formula is dry volume divided by the sum of proportion into proportion of sand. That is, this 3.5 divided by 1 plus 6 into 6. To calculate it in Excel, put Excel formula as is equal to cell C5 divided by bracket start cell C3 plus D3 bracket close multiplied by cell D3 again bracket close which comes to be 3 cubic meter. We know that 1 cubic meter is equal to 0.354 brass. Therefore, to calculate the quantity of sand in brass, use formula as is equal to bracket start cell C8 into 0.354 bracket close, which is equal to 1.062 brass. Next part is to calculate the number of bricks required for the masonry work. For that, the formula is volume of brick masonry divided by the nominal size of brick with mortar thickness. We know that the standard size of brick is 90 cm by 90 cm by 9 cm. And the nominal size of brick with mortar thickness 20 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm, which is equal to 0.2 m by 0.1 m by 0.1 m. Therefore, to calculate the number of bricks in Excel, put Excel formula as is equal to cell C4 divided by bracket start 0.2 by 0.1 by 0.1 two times bracket close which comes to be 5000 numbers assuming 5% wastage so the formula in excel will be is equal to 0.05 into cell C10 now calculate total number of bricks the formula will be is equal to cell C10 plus cell C11. Now, we will calculate the cost of materials. 
For that, prepare a table like this. Serial number, description, quantity, unit, rate, and total cost. Directly give the formula for quantity. For cement bags, the value will be equal to this cell C7. Therefore, put formula as is equal to C7. Similarly, put the formula for sand as is equal to cell C8. Similarly, put the formula for bricks as is equal to cell C12. Units will also be same. I have taken the rate of one bag of cement as 350 rupees, rate of sand as 1000 rupees per cubic meter and rate of one brick as 7 rupees. So, to calculate the total cost, just put formula as quantity multiplied by its rate. For total cost of cement bags, put it as, is equal to cell C15 into E15 which comes to be 5,250 rupees. Similarly, calculate total cost of sand by multiplying its quantity with rate, which will be is equals to cell C16 into cell E16, which comes to be 3,000 rupees. Similarly, calculate total cost of bricks by multiplying its quantity with rate, which will be is equals to cell C17 into cell E17 which comes to be 36,750 rupees. The last part is to calculate total cost of materials. For that, put a formula as is equal to sum, bracket start, cell F15 is to cell F17, which comes to be rupees 45,000. In this way, you can calculate the quantity and cost of cement, sand, and bricks required for the brick masonry work. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for such videos. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask and comment your doubts in the comment section below. Thank you.